How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to do a quick tour of this Thor Omni Super C solar system we just completed. So for this system, we installed 600 amp hours of lithium batteries in this compartment here. And you can also see we got space for more. We can probably add three or four more if we really wanted to. So it's easily expandable here. So we got three of these 200 amp hour light blue lithium low temperature rated batteries with internal heaters. So these work great for cold weather. You don't have to ever worry about them. There's no switch. It's all automatic. It just does its own thing. These heaters are better than other batteries because these only turn on when the batteries are being charged. So on this side, this is where we install the Lynx distribution center. This is where all your components connect. And we have a battery monitor here. And then we also have a main battery cutoff switch. So when you put it in storage, you know, you don't come back to a drained battery. You can always use this switch to cut off the system. And then up here, this is where we install the Victron MultiPlus 3000. This is a MultiPlus 2. And this inverter is not gonna just power a few outlets. This is gonna power everything in the RV. So you can power your microwave, your residential fridge, your air conditioner for short periods. And if you look up here, this is where our solar controller is. This is what's gonna take the solar panel power, turn it into battery power. And then we have a switch and a breaker to turn it on and off and for protection. And then on the side of that, this is the Servo GX system monitor. This is where all the components connect to each other and it's gonna talk to the touch screen on the inside. So on the roof here, we kind of maxed it out with six of these 200 watt solar panels for a total of 1200 watts of solar. It takes around three to 400 watts of solar to recharge 100 amp hours of battery in a good sunny day. So moving on to the inside, I'll show you where we mounted the monitor. So we mounted the Touch 50 system monitor right below the existing monitor that came with this RV. So it's all in the same place and same area. So this is a Servo GX Touch 50 monitor. And this is gonna tell you everything that's going on with your system, where your solar power is, your battery power, your AC loads, what your inverter's doing. So if we turn on the gen here, I'll show you what it looks like whenever your generator's running or when you plug in the shore power. So if we start it up, you look at the screen here and on the red box, this is gonna represent your shore power or your generator power. And once it's on, it'll pop up like this and then your inverter will go to bulk charging mode, which means it's charging as much as it can up to the limit you set it. And you can see now we're pulling 1500 watts from the generator. The most important number you want to look at on this screen is this one at the bottom where the battery is. You can see it says 76A, 76.3. This is the amount of amps going in or out of the battery at any given moment. So if it's a positive number, that means it's charging. So we're going to go ahead and test out our hair dryer on high here. And if we look at our system monitor, we'll see how much amps it's pulling or how much watts it's pulling. So if you look at our battery, you can see it's pulling negative 110. So that's using 110 amps per hour, or 1400 watts. Now we're gonna go ahead and try out our shop vac here. We got our shop vac on. And if we look at the monitor here, you can see we're pulling about negative 65 amps. And if you wanna know how long you can go pulling this amount of power, you can look at your time to go on your servo screen. And this is how much time you have left at this rate. So let's go ahead and test out the microwave and you can see here we're pulling about 1400 watts or about 100 amps. Most of the time with microwaves you're only using them for short periods so it's no problem running these off the solar. Now if we start up the engine on this rig, this is a F550, we'll start it up and see how much alternator power we're getting. So the truck's on and if we look at our monitor. The alternator power is going to show up as negative DC power on the screen. So you see it says negative 1,000 watts. That means it's putting out 1,000 watts from the alternator, or about 100 amps, you can tell on this screen here. And this is in combination with the little bit of solar we're getting as well. If you're looking for a lithium battery upgrade or some solar power for your RV, make sure to fill out a free quote form at solarpowermyrv.com slash free quote.